G'day champions, determined one tap sniper build videos always seem to pop up and do the rounds during global events with some crazy clickbait titles. If you run a 6 red sniper build, of course you should be one tapping everything. Well, what about a sniper tank? Seems kind of weird, right? But my sniper tank one taps its way through heroic content with directives with no global event active. We've got 326% headshot damage and over 2.8 million in armor. There's no exotics or no rare hard to find items that take hundreds of hours to farm for to make this build. My one tap sniper tank is crazy good. Hang about because the full build breakdown is just moments away. This will be the Lord my strength that teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. My goodness, my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer. My shield and he in whom I trust. This motherfucker don't miss. How's a toe? Run away, run away, you're gonna die. Just run away, run away, run away, run away, you're gonna die. Pow, right in the kitchen.
Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Today we're going to be checking out my unthinkable one-tap sniper tank. This is perfect for solo and team play heroic content with directives and it doesn't even need global events to be active. We have an insane amount of damage with an excessive amount of armor. Now why is this unthinkable? Well, most players love to promote the use of the six red one-tap snipers. But with the scaling of damage, you don't need six reds. So I wanted to do the unthinkable and see how tanky I could get and still one-tap heroic NPCs. With this setup, we have a whopping 326% headshot damage. And I do need to admit something, I made a huge error in that opening clip. I said we have 2.8 million in armor, but we can actually achieve 3.2 million. That's way more armor. Now that seems like some clickbait stat bullshit I know. See, now that's some bullshit. But it's not champions. This build's legit. It does everything exactly how you've seen. There's no exotics, no named items, and all the gear is really easy to farm for. You can one tap and be a tank, but most importantly, have a lot of bloody fun. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers. And if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. Also remember to engage with this video. A like, a share, a comment, it's all gonna help with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is gonna help the channel and our amazing community grow. If you wanna support me on my other socials or catch me live in action on Twitch, Kick, and even on TikTok, all the links are in the description. Righto, with all that said and done, let's get in and check out the unthinkable one-tap sniper tank. Three reds, three blues, sitting at just over 1.3 million base armor. Hold your horses, we're gonna be explaining shortly how we get to 3.2 million. As you can see, there's no exotics or named items on the build. We have four pieces of the Hotshot gear set and we've got two Hadsburg brand set. That's two gear types to farm for. That's very easy. For our specialization, we are going to be using Sharpshooter. This is gonna provide us a further 15% headshot damage when we're using a marksman rifle. We also gain 15% weapon stability, reduces recoil and faster reacquisition of targets. Now you do wanna make sure that you have specced into your marksman rifle damage. And I've also gone off and specced into rifle damage to unlock the digital scope. This thing is awesome and will give us a massive 45% headshot damage just by using the scope. For our primary weapon, I'm gonna be using the Model 700 Marksman Rifle. This got a nice little buff in Title Update 20 and now outperforms the White Death on a one-tap sniper build. I do have 12 expertise on this. I kept it in that middle range just to prove that you don't need 25% expertise on your weapons to be able to one-tap. We've got max damage, max headshot damage, and max damage to targets out of cover. The talent that we are gonna be using on this one is determined. This is a must for any consistent one-tap sniper build. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next shot landed anywhere on that enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. Pro tip, off the rip, do try and go for the weakest looking NPC in the area. This will then trigger more damage off our gear set and off our chest talent as well and will guarantee that every shot thereafter will be a one tap. For our attachments, we've got the digital scope which gives us that massive 45% headshot damage. We've got the 5% weapon damage on the mag and I've gone with accuracy for the muzzle just because I can. I just wanted to see how it would perform. Now for your other weapons, use whatever you want. I do prefer on these one tap builds just to main my primary weapon to get the most out of the build. Now for the gear on the build, first up we've got our Hotshot Mask. The gear set's gonna give us 30% marksman rifle damage, 30% weapon handling, 30% headshot damage, and the four piece talent is Headache. The first headshot with a marksman rifle will increase the next headshot by 20%. The second consecutive headshot will give you 10% armor, sort of like a little armor on kill. But if we are at full armor, this is gonna give us bonus armor, max of 50% of our current armor value. We have 1.3 million base armor on this build. So this will take us to nearly 2 million armor. Our third consecutive headshot will refill our magazine. And from the fourth headshot on, each headshot that we get will give us all three bonuses each headshot kill. Now, because our weapon talent is determined, as long as we keep a land in our shots, we're gonna keep getting all these bonuses, whether they're headshots, body shots, and even toe shots. 
Unfortunately, if we do miss a shot completely, this will reset the hotshot cycle. But that's not the end of it. We're still going to have Determined and our chest talent active, so it's going to be pretty easy to get this going again. It's a very simple build to use. As long as you get that first headshot kill, you're going to be able to keep chaining kill after kill after kill. Bonus damage, bonus armor, and an instant magazine refill. For the attributes on this, we've gone with max weapon damage, headshot damage, and a max headshot damage mod. For our chest piece, we've got the first of two pieces of Habsburg. The brand set's going to give us 15% headshot damage and 20% marksman rifle damage. I've decided to keep that core armor roll on it just to make this build easier to farm for. You do want to have headshot damage. On the second attribute here, I do have regen, weapon handling or some sort of crit would be preferred. And I've gone with a headshot damage mod. Now the talent that you've got to have to make the gun and the gear set work on this setup is the talent headhunter. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 125% of that killing blow's damage. Damage is going to be capped at 800% of your weapon damage. But this is raised to 1250% if our headshot damage is greater than 150%. Our headshot damage is 326%, so we're going to be able to get that 1250% damage increase. I'm going to become a parrot and keep saying this throughout the video. As long as you get that first headshot kill, you're good. As long as you keep Headhunter active. For our holster, we've got our second hotshot piece where I've gone with armor and headshot damage. The knees are the third piece of hotshot. We've got max weapon damage and headshot damage. And the gloves are going to be the fourth and final hotshot piece. This item has max weapon damage and headshot damage. This stuff is too easy to farm for. It's already going to drop with weapon damage on it, so you just roll headshot damage straight onto it. And the last item on the build is our Habsburg backpack. Max armor, weapon handling, headshot damage, and a headshot damage mod. Ideally, this is how I would prefer to be running the chest stats as well. A lot of players are using this brand set on their 6 red 1 tap builds. They would normally have a weapon damage roll here, but honestly that shit takes far too fucking long to farm for. So I adapted the build to work without the need of endless farming. Now to make us even tankier, we're going to be using Bloodsucker. Killing an enemy adds and refreshes a stack of 10% bonus armor for 10 seconds and this can stack 10 times. So that's 100% bonus armor from Bloodsucker and 50% from Hotshot. Taking our base armor of 1.3 million over 3.2 million. This means we can play a little reckless at times. You all witnessed it, I even went for those hipfire kills at one point. Having 3.2 million in armor and still one tapping in heroic content is insane. There's no other clickbait word to describe it. So that's how I've pieced the build together. Now for the skills, you can pretty much use anything you like. I did have the remote pulse on just to sort of test it out and I did pop on a reviver hive. Because I'm not gonna lie, I was very skeptical at first on how this build would work. But as you all saw in that gameplay, this build just works. Righto then champions, it is fine print time. Let's check out our stat sheet. Crits are very sucky, but we do have 326% headshot damage. That is a crazy amount of headshot damage, and that is why we're able to one-tap. We have 72% all weapon damage and 80% marksman rifle damage. Don't forget we're also going to be getting that 20% damage increase from hotshot, and we also get up to 1250% from headhunter. And our armor, we are just over 1.3 million base. Stacking a huge, a massive, an insane, a cuckoo crazy 150% bonus armor. How? Because we just chain kill after kill, after kill, after kill, and this will take us over 3.2 million in armor. Oh, you still don't believe me? Well, check out how easy it is to stack this armor. What can I say champions? That is the unthinkable one tap sniper tank. A build that's really easy to farm for, and really easy to use. This is unlike any other sniper build that you've seen before. It has an insane amount of one-tap power, and it's an absolute tank. 
But the most important thing about any of my builds is it's a lot of bloody fun to use. So what do you reckon? Are you gonna be a champion and have a crack at this build? What modifications would you make? Let me know down below. Thanks for tuning in and make sure that you show your support by smashing the like button on this video. And if you're not already, please subscribe. Everyone's support is always greatly appreciated. And I do hope to catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.